Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the quick selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the quick selection tool is to quickly and accurately select an image or a part of an image in Photoshop. If you don't already have an image open, go ahead and go up to your menu, click on File, and go to Open, or hold Control on your keyboard and press the letter O, and go ahead and open a file from your hard drive. The tool is found uh, in the Tools palette, which you can find by going to Window, and going to Tools, and you will see the Tools palette appear. It's second from the top, and may be hiding behind the Magic Wand tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, you will see a menu appear, and it's the one right at the top, the Quick Selection tool. You should note that the keyboard shortcut for the Quick Selection tool is W, meaning if we're using another tool and we want to use the Quick Selection tool, simply by hitting the letter W on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the Quick Selection tool. Let me show you how it works. Here I have a picture of uh, a flower that I have selected in the Layers palette. If you don't have a Layers palette, go up to Window Layers, or simply press F7 on your keyboard. Select the layer you want to work with, and uh, this is how the tool works. When I click on the image, I can drag around, and as you will see, this is already snapped to the edges of this flower. And as I move this around the flower, you will see that it uh, does a really good job. It missed a little bit there, but uh, we'll touch that up. It does a really good job at snapping to the edges and selecting images really easily just by clicking and dragging over them. Now, when, once you're happy with your selection, let go of the mouse. You will see the marquee around your selection. Now, we have a problem area here where um, our selection is bigger than the flower, which is an easy fix. Hold down Alt on your keyboard, and uh, this will get rid of the selection when you go over it. So now when you click, it will eliminate the marquee where you uh, drag the quick selection tool. And you can just touch that up right up to the flower, and that looks like a perfect selection. Go ahead and uh, grab the Move tool, which is at the top of the tool window. The keyboard shortcut to it is V, and uh, we can do a variety of things. Let's uh, blur the background, for instance, by going to Select, Inverse, or by holding down Shift, Control, and the letter I on your keyboard. Inverse the selection. Now we have the opposite selected here. We can go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we'll throw a little bit of a blur on that. And as you can see very easily, Let's uh, deselect that by going to select, deselect, or hitting control and the letter D on your keyboard. We have very easily selected uh, this image and blurred out the background using the quick selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.